Hey guys, let's get into this watch for dinner video starting with this soy glazed honey Asian style chicken that I made. I had that over rice with a side of this creamy style green beans. It was super delicious and really quick and simple to put together. Next meal was a creamy pesto bow tie pasta. We all had the same meal, which was nice. And then I had that with a side salad. For this next meal, I made what I called a falafel pocket. So I had cooked up some falafels and then I stuffed them in some tortillas with some cheese and I I think I pan fried that and then cut them in half and then we had that with a side salad, another super simple dinner to put together. So this meal I'm super excited to share with you guys because this was the first time I made a Jamaican style stew peas. This is one of my absolute favorite Jamaican meals and I had never made it before and it came out super yummy. So basically it's just some beef that I slow cooked and then for the rest of the family, they had lentils. It was canned lentils over rice. And then for my hubby, he had some tuna with his lentils for something extra. So this was the stew peas. I cooked that with the red beans and the dumplings with some coconut milk. And it was absolutely delicious. I completely forgot to film the next meal, but I made shepherd's pie. It was beautiful when I made it, but it's basically just ground beef with some frozen vegetables and mashed potatoes. The next meal, I made some macaroni and cheese, and I make my macaroni and cheese with a cheese sauce that I season really, really well, and then mix that all with the pasta and I like to use this chunky type of pasta and the kids absolutely go crazy for it and then we had that with a side of broccoli. This next dinner is something very simple that I like to make the breaded tilapia, rice, beans and then we had that with a side salad. I like to make this meal a lot because it's super easy to put together. It's also pretty inexpensive and I'm just sharing what everyone else had. The kids had the meal without fish and then my middle son he doesn't like rice so I put everything for him in a tortilla and then I had curry goat over rice. This is a Jamaican style meal and I'm really starting to get into making traditional authentic Jamaican meals because I absolutely love Jamaican food obviously. So this was a curry goat with some potatoes and I had that over rice with a side salad and it was amazing. The next meal I'm sharing with you guys was actually a meal that my daughter made. She made linguine alfredo. And to be honest with you, it was bomb. Really good. So this meal I actually threw together. I call it lazy lasagna. I used the oven-ready pre-cooked lasagna noodles and I just seasoned up the sauce, broccoli, cheese. We had that with garlic bread, some more broccoli, and corn. So for this next meal, I was really craving breakfast again. So I made these chicken sausage patties, which was really good. Some turkey bacon, hash browns, and some scrambled eggs. I also made some of the biscuit biscuits in the oven and brushed it with some butter, which was super nice. And I actually made like a biscuit sandwich with my sausage patties and my eggs. It was good, y'all. All right, so here is what we had for Super Bowl Sunday. I decided to make something super fun and 
really yummy. I ordered some churros from the mall and then I had some chips. I made turkey dogs for my middle boys because they absolutely love hot dogs. And then I made these really yummy onion rings in the air fryer. So good. The cheese stuffed yucca balls, also another winner. And then these boneless chicken wings, boneless chicken wings. It was an amazing meal. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.